Shumai. I'm Chris. I'm here on the north coast of the Gower, and today I'm exploring some of the most wild, rugged, and beautiful parts of the peninsula as I head out for a walk to the wonderful Whitford Lighthouse. So parking for this spot is available in the village of Clanmaddock in a small farmer's field. It's free to park, but there is an honesty box, so donate where you can. From here, take a right out of the car park, head down past Kamaivi Koshi shop and down onto Whitford Burrows, which is situated behind me. With over 250 species of plants, it's one of the most diverse dune systems in the UK and is owned and operated by the National Trust. Pass through there onto Whitford Sands and from here, it's two miles out to the lighthouse. Let's get into it. I've made my way through Whitford Burrows down onto the beautiful two mile stretch of Whitford Sands. So the burrows are behind me. This is the shoreline and if you can see, Whitford Lighthouse is all the way in the distance. Now you've got two options. You can walk along the shoreline all the way around and then cut down for when you get to the tip of the peninsula or you can do what I'm going to do and just beeline it straight towards the lighthouse. Let's go. So behind me stands the majestical but dilapidated Whitford Lighthouse. It's 44 feet high and is the only remaining cast iron wave swept lighthouse here in the UK. This rust bucket was built back in 1853 and was decommissioned in 1920 and helped ships navigate in and out of the treacherous Lacha estuary. It sits half a mile off the shores of Whitford Sand which are on the northern tip of the Gower Peninsula. Access is via a three mile walk from Clan Maddock and it's only reachable an hour either side of low tide. However, when you get here, the views are spectacular as you can look over the Lacha estuary across the Clanetli, Pembrey and Burry port. Do not want to get stuck here though. Lacha estuary sits on the Bristol Channel, which is one of the highest tidal ranges in the world. And the last thing you want to do is get swept out to sea. I'm going to stick the drone up, get some epic footage from the sky. So just got back to the start point, finished my walk, absolutely beautiful. Rather than walking back along Whitford Sands, I would recommend looping around the peninsula to make it more of a circular walk. In total, it'll be around six and a half miles and should take between two and a half to three hours if you're visiting the lighthouse. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching. Chuck us a like if you're feeling generous and if you're feeling really generous, give us a subscribe. Dior thank you very much.